there is a small group of scientists based in Boston that have developed their own DIY coronavirus vaccine. This is a group of about 20 plus scientists, tech, uh, technologists, as well as science enthusiasts is how they've been described, who got together in an effort to develop a vaccine that they could access before the official vaccine that will become more widely available and mass produced for the public comes out. But in any case, they designed this vaccine and because it's not being developed in the context of a formal clinical trial and they produce it, anyone who takes this vaccine essentially gets the ingredients and has to concoct the, vac the vaccine themselves by mixing it up and then it is a nasal spray administration. So you spray that formula up your nose. And because this is essentially a route of self-medication, self-experimentation using mail order ingredients, the, F the FDA doesn't have oversight over projects like this necessarily. Now, if this grows to some size, especially now that the recipe is online and easily accessible, the FDA may have some jurisdiction to step in. That is unclear at this time, and we will follow up on that huge question at a later date. To give you some idea of what's going on with this vaccine, it's a subunit vaccine is what it's known as, which means it contains these very short, they're not full-size proteins, but they are essentially share the same structure as a protein, but are too small to be considered a full protein. So these are called peptides. And these peptides are found on the virus itself. And then if they, a person would ever encounter the real virus, they would recognize those peptides on its surface and go after it. So that was the idea that forms the basis of this vaccine. The vaccine beyond peptides also includes a substance found in the shells of crustaceans like shrimp. So this substance was added to coat these peptides and help them to eat more easily enter the tissues of the nose, which are known as mucosal tissues. Because of their vulnerability to these pathogens, etc., not only do, are they often armed with mucosal cells that secrete mucus and capture those debris and pathogens in that sticky fluid, in addition, mucosal tissues have their own specialized fleet of immune cells that serve them specifically. You know, you have a more localized, robust response, and then you have your systemic whole body response. So a vaccine hopefully would engage both of those forces to get rid of the coronavirus. And there are scientists who believe that because of that need for mucosal-based immunity, that in nose spray, a nasal delivery of a vaccine may be the best route for if whatever vaccine gets approved. So again, this was the underlying idea behind the vaccine these 20 plus scientists came up with. What differentiates this vaccine from ones that are in formal trials is that there's been no regulatory oversight into how it was developed, into whether it garners any immune response, let alone the immune response you want at the level you want, but also whether it is safe to administer, as, and especially over long periods of time. At this point, this group of scientists have not completed any of those studies, but they are already distributing materials to make the vaccine to members of their social circles. So an estimated 70 or so individuals have received materials for the vaccine. It is unknown exactly how many actually have mixed it together and taken it at this point. So there's not good oversight of even who has received and taken the vaccine because they are not following up with those subjects in a codified way. They are conducting studies to look into the safety and efficacy now, after the fact, after many people have already received it. And again, there's a white paper online detailing exactly what's in the vaccine and how to mix it up and how to formulate it. And at the top, there's a long, long list of disclaimers pushing any responsibility for said vaccine onto the person who makes it and the person who takes it. So that's legalese to cover the scientists who came up with the vaccine. All this to just say, there's a reason that vaccines, especially for wide deployment, go through so many phases of clinical trials. Because number one, you want them to work at baseline. And at this point, there's zero proof that this vaccine works. 
So at this point, this is essentially what you can see as any home remedy, unproven home remedy for coronavirus prevention. Um, it's just wrapped up in more scientific lingo is kind of the take-home message from that shenanigans.